Hey guys and welcome! In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new Burton LMR, talk about it, is it a good weapon, is it not a good weapon, what do you use it for, how do you use it, and literally everything you should know about it to utilize it the most. Before we get into it, I just want to mention that at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a quick explanation of why I'm not uploading daily anymore and what basically caused it. But, to the point. What is the Burton LMR? And why is it a light machine rifle, the LMR, instead of LMG, the light machine gun? To be honest with you guys, I got absolutely no idea as I'm not really interested in weapons, but I do know that it comes to the game in two variants. The trench one, which requires you to score 50 kills while defending objectives, if you want to unlock it, and the optical variant, that requires you to score 50 kills with the trench variant, and in addition to that, you also have to resupply 100 different teammates. Assignments are pretty easy, there is nothing complicated about those, you will complete them while playing the game normally. Nothing crazy. Alright, so what does the weapon have to offer? Well, it's got 20 bullets in the magazine, 830 rate of fire, if you compare it to the Automatico, which is at 900, well, that's quite impressive considering we are talking about support class here, and on top of that, you get a sweet 23 damage per shot, up to 25 meters. As you guys can see by its statistics, it is designed for a purely aggressive playstyle in the close quarter engagements. And before you ask a very good question, and that question being, does it have a slower ADS time like other support weapons? The answer is no. And this is what makes it so perfect. Because you're literally not limited by anything. You can go up to your enemy, shoot them in the face and just blow them into pieces. 830 rate of fire combined with 20 bullets in the magazine and pretty much little to no recoil if you manage to control it of course, gives you a perfect weapon for an aggressive playstyle for the support. I personally prefer to go for the trench variant most of the time when I play with the Burton, but that's mostly down to the fact that if I'm playing up close, I really like that extra accuracy from the hip and the fact that I don't really have to use my right mouse button to aim, I can just hip fire everyone, why would I not do it if it's a close quarter weapon? But that's not all. Apart from Burton being a brother from another mother of the Automatico, it actually offers you an incendiary ammunition. Yes, an incendiary ammunition. And no, you're not gonna use it to burn your enemies. You're gonna use it for taking out enemy aircraft. Which is just so incredibly effective that you can see the clips. I'm just shooting random bullets, one spray, and I can take out planes wings or even engine and grant it. I'm not gonna take it out in one go, most likely, but what happens is the guy gets disabled. He's an easy target, whether this is anti-aircraft, your friendly plane, your friendly AA, I think I just said it, AA and anti-aircraft, that's quite pointless, that's the same thing. But trust me, this is so so effective. If you are on the receiving side, it looks like this and for the first couple of rounds I was getting confused if DICE changed AAs when I was away and wasn't playing Battlefield 1 or what actually happened because I was getting disabled almost instantly. One spray and you can disable the whole plane. Maneuverability is gone at this point. And all you have to do to actually access this incendiary ammo is to change fire mode of the weapon. That's literally it. It doesn't take up a gadget slot, you can still have two ammo packs, or ammo bag and the ammo pouch, which pretty much at this point gives you unlimited supplies of an incendiary ammo that you can use to take out planes, airships, bombers which are also planes but kind of bigger, and pretty much everything that flies. You can even shoot down enemy boats with the incendiary ammo, it works too. You throw down the ammo bag, you switch to incendiary ammo in your Burton, and you start filming the fifth part of the Rambo. Anyway guys, that would be it for this short review of the new support weapon. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm supposed to do a quick explanation here of why I'm not uploading daily anymore. Well, long story short, and to keep it simple, 
Battlefield 1 has reached a point in its life cycle where it is still playable, it is still fun to play, it is still populated, but there is just no content to create around it. No news, no updates, and no stuff that I used to do in the past. Believe it or not, every single day I skipped upload in the previous week, I've actually recorded a video, edited it, but in the end, when I watched it, the final version of it, I just wasn't satisfied with what I saw, because the whole thing just felt as something that was forced to be created just for the sake of being created, which wasn't totally the point of me doing YouTube in the first place. Which is why I decided that I'm gonna go with the suggestions that I've been getting from you guys for quite a long time now and start uploading live commentaries. Of course, cut down to some 10 to 15 minutes, no one's gonna watch 40 minute gameplays, with facecam or webcam or just yes, there will be my face on the videos. So many of you guys actually requested it, so let's give it a try. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, but at this point we really don't have any other content to produce. So if you sticked with me till the end and watched the whole thing, thank you so much for staying here and let me know down in the comments what do you think about it. Do you like the idea? Maybe you don't like the idea? Let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I see you on the battlefield!